If you've been around my channel for a little while, you know that uh, stylish grease monkey, meaning that I like my heritage style and I show it off and then I talk a little bit about that. And then recently, I think within the past two years, I've really injected the grease monkey by building, uh, showing you how to build my Bronco, uh, showing you how to do things with cars, you know, grease monkey mechanic things, right? So. I'm in the middle of my Bronco build and I'm taking a little break. Uh, I, I take breaks here and there. Uh, I go out, I wear my heritage clothing, but recently I've, I've uh, acquired uh, a new product from Brave Star that I think it's pretty cool and I kind of want to share that with you, right? You know, for you to help you make a decision on whether you should buy something like this and style it, uh, mainly at an older age like myself. Uh, and, and, and get your style kind of honed into the heritage style, right? I know some of you make comments saying that, hey, I've had this style for a long time. I didn't even know what it's called, and now I know what it's called, right? I'm not, I'm not telling you what to do. I am just merely uh, creating videos for entertainment in hopes that you can use some of the information and just enjoy it, right? So let's talk a little bit about this product from Brave Star and uh, I'll show you what it has, how much it costs, uh, and why I bought it, of course. So here we go. First, I want to say that Brave Star doesn't pay me to say any of this stuff, right? It's just so happened that I stumbled into Brave, Brave Star a little while back, and I really love the products, and I am a, a, a proponent of Brave Star products. Anyways, going back to the Die Hard Double Knee 12 of Brave Star. So what does it have? Why did I buy it and what does it have? Uh, just so happened that the summers here in Hawaii gets intense and uh, it's probably not as hot as other places in the world or even in the United States, but it still gets hot. And uh, you know already that while I'm working on my Bronco, while I'm working here in the garage, I wear my heritage clothing. Uh, you've seen me make a video of my uh, heritage shoes or my mock toes and what how I get the patina by working on my cars also seeing me do a video of me using my Japan salvage jeans my 501 jeans while working and beating it to hell and it's surviving I bought it because I wanted a different style uh, I wanted a little bit of a slim taper light material that can handle the heat when I go out to parties, uh, go out with my wife, things like that, right? I still like to dress up. I added this to my collection uh, because I know that it's going to keep me cool on summer days and warm evenings, right? Uh, you'll see me here, right here. I'm wearing uh, all black, you know, uh, t-shirt on the top. I think this t-shirt right here is from Young LA. I shouldn't be wearing a shirt like this, but that's what I got. Uh, and then, of course, the double knee twirl from uh, Brave Star. Uh, and then down below is uh, all white vans, right? And that's just my daily kind of outfit when I'm going out to the mall. And this particular evening, we're going out to dinner. So I just kind of wanted to be comfortable. And by the way, I've worn this pants a couple more times, like in a concert, uh, going out and things like that. I just re really wanted to kind of try out to see how comfortable it is and it's very very comfortable of course and a lightweight twill material is perfect for the warm weather of Hawaii. So what's in the double the die hard double knee that I really like? Uh, I tell you what, you know, back in the 90s when I was uh, growing up, I did own a couple of cargo shorts, cargo pants. I still love those things, but I don't, I don't have any more in my, in my arsenal for the reason that uh, it's the 90s, right? So this is a new version of somewhat of a cargo pants, right? Uh, and the reason why I say that is because it, they created it with two deep pockets in the front where you can put your cell phone, like this one. A knife or whatever it is in the front pockets and then of course um, the material they use the 10 ounce twill from Japan they use is very luxurious feeling you know what I mean it's light it's luxurious but it's also durable flexible uh, and you can use it to work or you can use it as a casual clothing I mean you, you can't beat that for 128 bucks and it's a salvage material you can't beat you know what it offers right so 
Uh, let me go over a little bit of the structure of the pans and talk a little bit about what it is uh, when it comes to the structure and how durable really it is and how they made it. So I just kind of want to share that with you. So based on the die-hard double knee straight leg, they've tapered uh, these particular one uh, from the knee down to seven inches. So it's a tapered uh, twill. Um, I ordered mine longer than normal, which I always do with my salvage because I like, uh, you know, folding it. I like showing off that cuff. I like showing off that salvage. Uh, another way to know there's salvage in it, obviously, uh, is on the pocket. You'll see the salvage line, a salvage ID on the pocket, on the side of the pocket. So the other similarities with the 501 jeans are the button flies. Uh, again, 10 ounces with button flies and salvage. You can't go wrong. I think it's perfect combination. Right. Other things it has from the straight leg is a little bit tighter on the waist and, and mid-rise, which is nice because it fits you well there. Uh, I still do wear a belt with it because, you know, I've <laughs> been running for a little while now and uh, lost a little bit of weight on my waist and my uh, buttocks area. So, but when it comes to sizing, I didn't want to, um, so I'm a size 34 and I lose 34 right now. So I decided to order a size 33. Something like this that has a luxurious feel and a luxurious uh, appearance, I probably will wash not very often, right? Not as much as if it gets dirty uh, because I only wear it to go out. So, uh, but tell you what guys, that Savage ID with the white in it goes really well with white sneakers. So if you're into white sneakers, I, I own Vans, I own the Purcells, I own Adidas. Uh, but all white sneakers look good with all black clothing, in my opinion. So what is it constructed uh, with, right? First of all, it has 10 pockets for ultimate utility, uh, seven belt loops for rigidity, and uh, bar tacked at all stress points, button flies with double prong, donut style buttons, classic, white top stitching using correspond polyester thread for strength. It's sewn and chain stitch in all the right places on Vintage Union Special, Reese and Singer machines. A and E correspond, poly thread for maximum strength and durability, woven label on back pocket, we talked about it already, and all hardware is made in Kentucky. So from my personal experience uh, wearing the Die Hard Double Knee Twill 10 ounce tapered, for the last couple of weeks. Um, the waist fits really well on a size 33 that I've ordered. Uh, the length is really nice because I can, again, fold it and show the salvage ID. Uh, the, the taper is perfect. Uh, I think it goes with a good silhouette for me. Uh, right now, I am um, about 195, 195 pounds, uh, six foot, coming from 215, 210. So, Lost a little bit of weight, uh, especially on my waist and uh, just the girth of my body pretty much, right? So this uh, tapered double twill looks really good. Uh, it's not too tight, it's not too loose, it's just perfect. It goes well with casual clothing like white shoes and a white shirt or black shoes, black shirt. It also goes well with heritage uh, boots like uh, mock toes or the Iron Ranger, right? Uh, and I think it's a perfect all-around kind of you know, perfect for warm weather clothing uh, that looks pretty badass in my opinion, right? For 128 bucks uh, and an authentic Japanese twill salvage, where can you get that for 128 bucks but Brave Star? Again, Brave Star is not paying me to say that. I'm just, that's just my opinion and based on my experience. So I'm ready to order other colors, which comes uh, with it if you want to buy a different color than black they all they have other colors on the double on the die hard double knee twill so i hope you enjoyed the video that's my take on it and uh you know i'm gonna go wear it some more and show you how i wear it and what i wear it with uh some of the heritage clothing parts that i have so i hope you enjoyed this video that's all i have for you this week uh, on the heritage style part of my channel. I'm going back to building my Bronco. I'm working on the transmission right now. Uh, and then of course you've probably seen my videos on my 74 bus that I recently acquired. Uh, so all of this are coming together. 
I really appreciate you being patient as far as being on my channel, watching my grease monkey side, and then waiting for the stylish uh, to come around. I'll try to do that as much as I can, as often as I can. But please hang tight. Thank you very much for your support. And if you have not, you know, subscribed to my channel, please hit the subs uh, subscribe button and then hit the notification bell so you know every time I, I upload a video. And I hope you're enjoying all my videos. Anyways, if you have a comment, please leave it down in the comment section below. I will talk to you later. Aloha.